Okay, so we are still in our discussion on the Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so let's just write here the topic. Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so now we will try to have the characteristics of the Fibonacci sequence. So we just write the Fibonacci sequence here. We have 0, 1, 1, 2. So 2 plus 3, that will be 3. So 2 plus 1, that will be 3. 3 plus 4, 5. Then we have 8. So you just add the next two terms, the two preceding terms to get the next term. That will be 8 plus 5, 13. We have 21. This will be 21 plus 13. That will be 34. 34 plus 21. This will be 55. Okay. So first we will get the uh, so-called the ratio of the preceding number so the ratio of the numbers oh, so for the first two numbers here the ratio will be 1 over 0 so we'll get the ratio of the second term to the first term so 0 will be infinity or some some of us will call that as undefined okay so there will be a separate video on this um on the reason why the 1 over 0 is undefined or infinity so maybe on my other video about um, uh, maybe on the uh, calculus or in the um, number theory then we have this one also so this is our um, the, the ratio of this one for example we will call this one as maybe we just write the um, the position of this one is f1 F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8, F9, F10, and F11. So we have 11 terms. Okay. So the ratio of F3 to F2, so that will be 1 over 1. So that will be equal to 1. The ratio of F4 to F3, so we have uh, that will be 2 over 1, so that will be 2. Then the ratio of F5 to F4, so that will be 3 over 2, so that will be 1.5. Then the ratio of F6 to F5, so we have 5 over 3. So let's just check here for our calculator. It is 5 divided by 3. So it will be equal to 1.6. Okay. 1.6. Then F. 7 to f6 okay so we have that will be five, uh, 8 so 8 divide 5 so we have 8 divide 5 so will be equal to 1.6 again 1.6 then f8 over f7 so our f8 is 13 over 8 so we have 13 divide 8 so this will be equal to 1.625 1.625 then we have F9 over F8 okay so we have 21 over 13 so 21 divide 13 so this will be equal to 1.615 let's just get the actual decimal okay, so we have 1.615384615 uh, okay so um Maybe we will go up to F10, F10 over F9, so let's just continue this one further. So we have 34 over 21, 
Okay, so 34 divide 21. Okay, so that will be, uh, let's just have the actual decimal. So this is 1.619. 047619 Okay So as you can see our ratio of the terms of of all of the the terms of the if the of the Fibonacci number is approaching to a certain number which is equal to 1.61 something So if we are going to maybe we will extend our sequence into um, f n1 then f n so our ratio of that f n over f n1 so the term before f n will be equal to a certain non-terminating non-repeating decimal number which is 1.61 eight zero three four dot 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 okay so this is one of the constants in mathematics so the the ratio of the succeeding terms and the preceding terms or the the ratio of the two terms of a the the two um, succeeding and preceding terms of a Fibonacci sequence is equivalent to this number. So this number now is what we called as what we called as it is um, designated with the symbol like this one. Okay. So that is what we called as So that is now what we called as the golden ratio or um, it is the golden mean for of Euclid and Aristotle and sometimes it is called as a, the, divine propo the divine proportion which is coined also by uh, which is coined by, by um, Leonardo da Vinci. But you, using that term or, or, or using the symbol now, so we call this one as phi or sometimes some of them we call this phi but to uh, to avoid confusion compared to the pi which is the ratio of the uh, the circumference of the circle to its radius so we call this one as phi so phi is um, uh, common in nature so if if you say a sunflower the the ratio of its petals is equal to the golden ratio then if you see the one of the painting of of the Leonardo da Vinci of a man so in a certain way so it also contains a golden ratio so some of the but um, mathematicians believe that a face of a person will be considered a beautiful or a or a perfect face if each of the, if, if each of the positions of your mouth nose and eyes will be um, equivalent to the golden ratio so that is one of the characteristics of the, uh, of the Fibonacci sequence another one also so we just have here a uh, blank page so considering our phi so if we subtract phi by one the answer of that will be equivalent to the reciprocal of phi Okay, so for example, if our fee is 1.6, uh, 1, 1, minus 1, so we'll have, we'll have 6 point, uh, no, no, 0 0.618034, so that will be our answer. Now this one also, as according to this uh, formula or these characteristics, this is equal to one over phi or, or phi, the reciprocal of phi. So if we are going to try that one in our calculator, maybe I will see here the calculator. Okay. Okay. 
let's just move this one here okay so we now have our calculator so just put here our calculator over this part okay so if we are going to have the reciprocal of one so reciprocal so we have um, one over 1.618034 so according to the formula it will be equivalent to this one um we just remember uh, just remember that this is a terminating no? so a, a non-terminating non-repeating decimal okay so this is the answer so as you can see we have if we could round this one this would be equal to 0 0.61804 so that is one of the characteristics of a fibonacci sequence now if you are going to have also this one phi plus one this will be equal to phi squared so if you have 1.61034 Okay. At one zero, okay, we forgot the eight eight zero thirty four plus one. So this will be equivalent to two point six one eight zero thirty four. So that is the equivalent. Now this also is equal to the square of our phi. So we will try that one in the calculator. Okay, so we have one. Maybe we choose put our number in the parenthesis you see the calculator you have 1.618034 and we put squared and this will be equal to so we have that one 2.618034 so if we're going to um um neglect the last three decimal places so it is basically equivalent to this one adding okay so again we will have the we cannot have the exact exact value using our calculator because this is a non-terminating non-repeating decimal okay so these are the two important characteristics of a fibonacci sequence and also the one of the most important also is the golden ratio so in the next video we will be solving um, or we will try to get uh, the uh, the terms of a Fibonacci sequence using our using the the formula we discussed on the previous video. So thank you for watching and as always have a good day.